Hi, I'm Carol Jorgensen Sheets. I'm Carol the Coach, and I am here today to talk to the partners of sex addicts. You know, I know you've been devastated. I know that what you've just heard from the man or woman that you love has rocked your world. Now, whether you're in a coupleship and not married, or whether you've been married one month, one year, 10 years, or 40 years. It is devastating because the illusion of what you had has now fallen apart. And you have to be asking yourself, what can I believe? And more importantly, what can I do for safety and stability? And I've worked with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, perhaps, that, perhaps thousands of partners of sex addicts and what I know that's so important is that right now you've got to take care of yourself, increase your self-care, find some supportive people to run this by and that in itself is very difficult. I happen to know that for most people, and we'll, and we'll talk about women here, for most women it it's hard to know who you can talk to about this. You know, you want to tell the world, you want to tell all of his family. You want to let everybody know how he's betrayed you. And yet there's a part of you that doesn't want to talk about it to others because you don't want them to hate him too. And so you're protecting him and you're wanting to expose him all at the same time. Now, I say it's important for you to do self-care and find supportive people because you can't do this by yourself. I'm so glad you're here today getting some information. There are great resources. Um, there are plenty of books. There are plenty of programs out there. There are plenty of intensives. But if you're checking this video out right now, more than likely you have just gotten the bad news. You've gotten what we call the discovery. Maybe you saw his phone come up with some texts that were totally inappropriate. Maybe you um, had something come up on your on your computer that absolutely floored you. Or maybe somebody called you and told you that your husband was acting out. Now, I know you're going through a lot of emotional reactions. You may be experiencing panic attacks, anxiety, panic in general. Your heart may be racing. You may be trembling. You may not be able to sleep. Because when this kind of information is given, your central nervous system goes into overload, which then sends all sorts of chemicals to the brain. And then you go into self-protection. You decide, am I going to fight? Am I going to flee? Just fight. Or am I going to freeze and not do anything because I don't know what to do? Now, the first thing that you can do is get yourself to a certified partner's therapist. If you go to APSATS, which is A-P-S-A-T-S, -S, they certify people who specifically have wanted to work with you. I gotta tell you, part of them have had this experience and so they've made it their mission to help others. Someone like me, I'm certified in APSATS. I, that has not happened to me, but I still want to promote you getting healthy because you're the byproduct of the sexual addiction. You're the casualty or what we call collateral damage. You know, this shouldn't be happening to you. You didn't ask for it. You didn't cause it. You can't cure it. And you certainly can't control it. But you can control you. And that means that you start thinking, okay, what do I need to feel safe again? And who can I talk to that won't judge me or my husband or wife? And will stay neutral and just kind of hold my feelings for me. We call that being a container. 
where they actually just hold your feelings while you sit with, what's my next move? You know, it's an interesting thing because when I work with infidelity, not sexual addiction, but infidelity, and I am a certified sexual addictions therapist too, um, people that deal with people who cheat usually set boundaries, separate, divorce, leave, they're done. Maybe they do some counseling, but they're done. There must be something inside of a partner that has some sort of compassion for the addiction that has taken over in, in their loved one. Because they tend to put up with things a little bit longer. They tend to want to work with their loved one to get them help. And so what that typically means is, as an APSATS counselor, as a clinical and certified partner trauma therapist, we help you to develop good boundaries, to develop your voice, to keep yourself safe, and to allow you to know when it's time to make the next move. Maybe that is a therapeutic separation. Maybe that is that he moves upstairs and you stay downstairs. Maybe that is that you go to marital counseling and both seek your own individual counseling. Maybe that is that you go to your pastor and talk with him or her. Um, but we help you to make that next move based on who you are and what you need. Because what we know to be true is that nobody should be telling you what to do. That needs to come from your own sense of self. But right now, you're so flooded with feelings and emotions, you can't possibly know what to do. And if you don't know what the resources are out there, it's difficult too. So I want you to know that you can email me at carol at caroltocoach.com and I'll send you in the direction that you might need to go. Or you can listen to my Sex Help with Carol the Coach podcast and you can scroll down and see which ones are for you. You know, I have them for the addict. I have them for parents that have kids that are using. I have them for partners. Um, I have them for educators, for clinicians. So you can scroll down and figure out which ones are for you. And know that there are people out there that can help you. There are some great books, excellent books. Um, Many in the Shattered Heart. By Stephanie Carnes, um, Facing Heartbreak by Mari Lee and um, several other people, My Sexually Addicted Spouse by Barbara Steffens, the president of APSATS. And what I know that is so important is that you can't, well, you might be able to do it alone, but you shouldn't. And you might as well go to somebody who really has some expertise in your pain, your experience, and help you figure out what you do next. So again, I'm Carol the Coach, and I'm here to help you. Thanks for listening. <laughs>